Hi everyone. So this morning I'm working on some food prep and I thought I'd take you with me as I work here in the kitchen. And I didn't film the beginning of this. I wasn't really thinking about making a video when I started out. But as I was working, I thought maybe it would give someone new ideas, new food ideas, because we always need those, right? Or at least I do. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've done so far. Here I have some bread going that's almost ready to put out in pans. And I have some sausage gravy that I'm gonna make. I'm browning the sausage here. And here I'm cooking some tapioca. I haven't made this in years, but I know the boys really like it. And I made some bars. There's actually brownies in the bottom. And then I put these marshmallows on top, put it back in the oven for three minutes. And that is ready for, soon we'll be ready for a, a, another layer. It's double crunch bars, they're called. And here's my bread pans and my shortening ready for the bread and hamburger thawing. I want to make some hamburger patties. Probably won't grill them right away, just make them so that they're ready to throw on the grill if we'd want them this weekend. And I cut up a delicious musk melon right now. German Village Market in Berlin has the best musk melons or cantaloupes. I uh, love them. And of course, there's always dishes to wash. So I feel like I may have shown you my sausage gravy routine in a previous video, but since I'm at it anyway, I'll show you, you know, kind of how I do it in case you missed that. It's really easy. Um, I just have, I think, around two pounds of sausage that I browned in the pan. We'll sprinkle some flour over it, uh, stir, and then add milk to thicken it and season it. It's really simple. My bread recipe normally makes either eight small loaves of bread or one large and about five small ones. And the small ones I make for our cottage guests, so I always like to have some in stock. I put them in the freezer, and today I'm making that one large loaf for us and then five small ones. And in case you're wondering, I always use a fork to prick holes in my bread so that you know any air bubbles that might be in there are released. Mom always did that, so that's kind of why I do it. I ended up getting six small ones instead of five. It varies sometimes. I like to rise my bread on top of the oven here and have it on warm. Uh, that helps to make it rise quicker. The scraper I'm using here is from Pampered Chef. It's my favorite one. Actually, I have two of them. I've had them for years, and I'm sure if they ever give out, I will get some more. This sausage gravy will be perfect for Sunday lunch. And trust me, I don't always get this done as far as you know fixing all this food for the weekend, but I like it if I do get it done. It's just so handy to have that extra food for the weekend. I have this biscuit recipe. I may have made this before also on here, but I'll share the recipe down below. Um, there's some shredded cheddar cheese that comes in them and they're really good with sausage gravy.
we have these burgers that we just love, and I may have showed these before on here, I'm not quite sure, but since I'm making them anyway, I'll go ahead and show them again. And I'll have these recipes down below in the description box, whatever I can, uh, for you guys to try if you want to. But with these burgers, I think what really makes them good is, well, first you make a sauce, like a barbecue sauce, just a homemade from scratch barbecue sauce. And then some of that sauce actually comes into the hamburger. I think that's what really makes them nice and juicy. And about anything I make, I usually put less sugar in. I've really learned over the years that you don't need that much sugar, it's still good. When I share the recipes down below, I'll just put the original recipes down there, but you can of course adjust accordingly if you want. The additional barbecue sauce will of course be used then once we grill the burgers to you know spread over them. You don't have to put butter over the tops of your loaves, but I like to. I think it makes a nice moist loaf of bread and adds some flavor. As soon as the bread is cooled off enough that I can get it out of the pans, I like to set it on a dish towel and then cover it with a dish towel. I'll leave it that way until it's just you know nice and warm, and then from there I'll put it into bags. tapioca I use is a healthier alternative than just your regular tapioca. The jello I'm using is from a bulk food store, that's why it's not, you know, boxed like your normal jello would be, which would totally be fine too. I just had this on hand. Now getting back to the double crunch bars. The boys always like it if I double the part where like the crunchy part that comes on top of the bars. So that's what I'm doing here. But the recipe down the row will just be the normal amount, but that would be optional then. If you want it extra crunchy, you can double the recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed following along as I worked here in the kitchen. Such a good feeling to have some food in stock. Before ending here, I have a quick Etsy shop product announcement. I'm excited to say we have the fresh cut grass candle available in the Etsy shop. You may remember this candle from previous years. Sometimes we do a run of them during the summer months. We're actually gonna pair these candles with a bar of soap that is called Grassy Meadows. And I gotta say, it smells so fresh and clean. Uh, just having this bar set here, which I do smell the candles too, but together they smell amazing. Um, just really reminds me of summertime. And these cups actually come from one of our cottage guests, brought them for me. Um, they're beautiful, they're different designs, but if you do spot a design that you kind of like, uh, feel free to request that design in 
when you order in the note to seller section. We can't guarantee that we can send that one, but we'll do our best. Uh, to me, I think they're all really pretty. So make sure to check that out if you're all wanting a great smelling summer candle paired with a bar of fresh smelling soap. And of course we only have a limited amount and we do have some extra soap. So you will find just the soap in some of the soap listings. And I'll try to link that down below in the description box. And we're also doing another batch of the Lily of the Valley candles that we had done earlier this summer. And we still have some leftover of the other colored votive cups. These are such a cute little size, great smelling scents. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.